That'd be interesting. Pac-Man, the board game. My uh, son got um, a Sonic the Hedgehog themed Monopoly game for his birthday. Nice. Have we talked about Golet on stream yet? I don't think we have. I don't know, man. I'm so far behind. I haven't gotten to listen to the last two. Oh, I know we definitely didn't the last two. We're going to go with Golet. Well, no, we haven't. He's a fun little guy. There's one that, uh, oh, the one that Barry, his experience, the way they got interrupted, that one looks pretty awesome. That's whatever that Pokemon was. Oh, the one that he posted in uh, Discord? Yeah. Nah, he texted it to us. He probably did put it in Discord as well. But the one he was texting to us with Ibit. The Ibit called him or something and interrupted his experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, ter it was Terrakion. It's the new five-star raid that came out last, ah. this last week. So it'll be a year before I get a shot at it. Gotcha. <laughs> Something like that. And there's me six doing the we're live reminder to people. Yay. I don't we don't have to worry about that now. It automatically does it. Granted it's usually delayed a, a few minutes on that, but Yeah. Thunder Muffin. <laughs> He's yelling at you to open up your gifts. Oh, yeah. You know, I've been really bad about that. I've got him on Thunder Muffin. I got you at the top of my list to uh, open up. Um, so maybe later on this afternoon you'll see a little something for me coming. There we go. I just opened his. Okay. So the the still picture I have of you on the, on the stream. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's uh, one of your older ones where you've got long hair. Oh, Jesus. Why'd you go back and grab the pedophile picture? Why, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, if I have my glasses on, it's one thing, but there's one. There's nope, one you don't have your glasses on. It still might be okay, but there's one picture out there. It's like, have you seen this man? He's been lurking around. You know, it's like a danger, stranger danger picture. It's, uh, it, horrible. it's you in a black a button-up shirt and a white background. I don't know. I, I just did. That. I just did a Google search for Charles McFall. You know, we're friends on Facebook. I only have like a bajillion pictures on Facebook, Joe. I just That's wanted to see. From. I wanted to see what Google would come up with. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Thunder Muffin says you look like a country singer. Yeah, you know, I'll take that. That, that's all right if the money comes with it. I'm, I'm okay with that. See, I was thinking uh, blue-collar comedy. Yeah, that'd be all right, too. Uh, all right. Well, I'm ready when you are ready. All right. And welcome to this week's episode of Pokemon Go Podcast, where we're coming to you from all over the freaking world. It's a different time today. It's a different day today. It is the Black Friday Post Thanksgiving Pokemon show that we're normally doing with Brian Ibbett, but they're doing a different kind of gaming stream today to raise money for, for something else. And Coverthon will return in the spring. If you don't remember who I am, because it's been a while, I'm the Rock Gunner Podcasting Charles and Paul, and the man who is the the glue between the pages, Joe R. <laughs> yep. And if you're wondering why Charles sounds so weird, he's recording in his car. <laughs> I am, because that was the only quiet place I could get to 
um, to not, not it's just ask the American Edition and not have craziness happen and this and that and the other. Hopefully it sounds okay. Uh, it's all right. People won't be able to tell the <laughs> difference. <laughs> They're like, he's been gone for two weeks. Now he sounds like this. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It 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 is what it is. Uh, it, I can I mean I can try to put it on speakerphone maybe instead of the car mics, but what else? No. Uh, and just so everyone knows, we don't know when, we don't know who, but we might be joined by random people because this is a call-in show. So, yeah. So I'm assuming you're gonna put the links in the the live chat as well. Oh uh, sure, yeah, I can it. do that too. Boom. Oh man. It's so Rob there. Roberts, good. So Rob Roberts uh, came in and did a phenomenal job. I actually got home uh, kind of late that night, so I couldn't do Pokemon. But I was rushing in. I was able, I was able to squeeze in uh, uh, FDH Beyond. I'll get like 10 minutes before that went live. So I jumped in, and I took a minute to check in, and at almost 9.30, you and Rob were still going on, on Twitch. So that was <laughs> fun. So that was good. And last week we had uh, Barry Falk, right? Yes, we did. And we we tried to have Scotty Moore, but uh, he couldn't get his audio working. So yeah, Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. So he always has issues with audio. I actually fun little side story. I got Scotty on the show one time. Guys, text him like, "Hey, you want to come on and talk about Dragon Con right now?" He's like, "Sure." And he video links in from Zoom. From his job at where he was working, he's like, uh, "Customers might walk up. I'm gonna try this." Like, what? Anyway, he's a cool guy. So I'm sorry that the Pokemon audience missed him. Um, he wasn't able to do it. Uh, yeah, man, it's been a crazy two weeks of just zipping around. Even today, when I thought, "Oh, it'll be nice and quiet. I'll have plenty of time to record. Let's set it for two thirty in the afternoon." Then it's like, "Nope, you gotta shift the things up and get on the road uh, very fast." So. I'm not driving, but I am uh, prepared to go on the road as soon as we get done here. Um, and I've had a ton, so many, so many experiences, John. I just can't even tell you about them all, man. <laughs> so many Pokemon experiences. So how was your week? <laughs> uh, I've had a, a, a pretty good week this last week. I uh, got in some uh, Team Rocket uh, attacks, uh I battled Sierra a couple weeks ago, which you didn't hear about because you were off air. Um, yeah. But, yeah, just all around having having a blast, having fun. Um, Raided got a Pharaoh Seed. Um, so that's nice. cool. Yeah. Uh, it, it was the first time I had seen him in a raid. I know he's been out for a while now. I just haven't haven't seen him. So, um, but, yeah, grabbed a, an Articuno out of the box and... Yeah, just having a lot of fun. A whole lot I, of fun. I know I posted some, some adventures in our Adventures of the Week on Discord. Uh, it's just, that was probably right before you and Rob recorded, or maybe maybe I did one before Barry even recorded. Uh, but it's, it has just been a blur. I'm still working on getting that third level of um, uh, uh, Team Rocket mission done so that I can track down the, the big bosses and fight them. Um, I'm on that second one. I got the first one knocked out, but now I have to cure like 2 billion, you know, purple Pokemon. And I don't know about all that. <laughs> 2 billion purple know. Pokemon. It's a lot, man. It's, it's more than what you have to do to fight. You have to fight like six more battles, but you have to cure like 20 something Pokemon or something. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have to purify like 15 or 20. Yeah. Um, it's not like six. So. <laughs> So uh, in our Discord, um, which you can get in on by going to patreon.com slash Pokemon Go podcast, uh, we've got Popeye got himself a shiny seal. Um, nice. And also got, there's been a bunch of people posting about their Terrakion. Um, so Popeye's got one and uh, Barry's grabbed one as well. Um, and so, yeah. Just uh, a lot of people grabbing a lot of different stuff. A lot of Terrakions lately. Fabian um, got himself a shiny tentacle from a research uh, task. Said it's his first cool. time getting That's a awesome. shiny out of a research task. Uh, Professor Pine grabbed a uh, 
a shiny Nidoran female with hashtag thankful. So I think he probably nabbed that on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. He did. He posted it yesterday. Um, and apparently on Black Friday, aka today, Professor Pine got another shiny Nidoran female. Nice. So that's pretty fun there. And Fabian, he's been posting a fair bit lately about um, new stuff actually appearing in his area now that the um, Wayfinder is live. And so, yeah, so he's getting a lot of stuff popping up. Uh, and so, yeah. Very cool. He's very excited. He went from having nothing in around his area to now he has two stops and two gyms. So, oh, very good. Yeah. So he is super excited right there. Um, and like we said earlier, if anyone in chat would like to join us, uh, there is the link in the Twitch chat. So if you wanted to join us live in our call-in show, feel free to join us. But until then, um, Niantic, uh, not that this matters to you, Charles, but Niantic has once again increased Pokemon storage and item capacity in the game. Um, so now you can jump up to having 3,000 Pokemon and 2,500 items. Oh, my God. And oh what are you rocking, like five, 500 Pokemon storage? Uh, that sounds right. Maybe a little higher than that, but not much. <laughs> uh, what are you rocking, Joe? The, the uh, new Max? Uh, no, I've I've got two thousand five hundred for my um, Pokemon storage, and two thousand three hundred for my item storage. Okay. So, I'm I'm not at, at max, but it's a fair bit higher than yours. <laughs> so, and according to Thunder Muffin, uh, you look like Keith Urban. So, hey, <laughs> I can handle that. So yeah, so that is the new Max. Um, and so, yeah, for all the people like Terry Wolf or just hoarders like me, uh, you can, you can up that, you can increase that. Uh, Joe is up to his, so up yours. <laughs> oh man. That makes me think of that seven up campaign from years back. <laughs> yes. I love that campaign. <laughs> oh so, my goodness. Um, so last week, uh, Barry and I talked about, the community day that's coming up, the December community day uh, that's happening on, I believe it's the 14th and the 15th. Yeah. That um, day on that thing that happens at that time. Sure. Yeah. It is the 14th and the 15th. Um, so it's, it's the December community day. And if you don't remember Charles, that's when we get everything back. Um, I remember <laughs> kind of, <laughs> kind of, um, it's my two days to kind of wrap up the year and one eat fail sloop. <laughs> And the Silk Road put together a list of a, like a cheat sheet for that community day, specifically for um, the Pokemon you want to focus for PvP. Um, and so they've got a a little infographic that says essential for PvP. Now I know you don't have this pulled up in front of you, so why don't you take a guess on what Pokemon? I just want to see what you would guess. That's essential for PvP. Essential for PvP uh, that are that that were featured in Community Days this past year. Well, actually, the past two years. Uh, Machamp? Machamp? Nope. Machamp has not been a Community Day Pokemon. Okay. Blaziken? Blaziken is in, in the very useful for PvP. Okay. I yeah. uh, was... I don't think Snorlax is one. Um, crap, Joe, you put me on the spot. Uh, <laughs> now there's not, I know my kid probably is not in the family. Nope. Of use. That is essential for PvP. Really? That is the top category. Swamper. Our stomp is essential. Swamper. Yep. Swamper with Hydro Cannon, specifically with 0 14 14 IVs. So it, Why 0? 14, 14. So in general, for PvP, um, you want low uh, attack IVs because that allows you to have higher level before the cutoff on the max CP at each, um, okay. each so level. Realistically, is it possible to do 0, 14, 14? Yeah. Okay. You can find 0 IV Pokemon. Yeah, so then how do you focus them up just to get the 1414? 
Now, the, you when you catch him, you can check to see the IVs. The IVs don't change when you power them up. Right. So, so statistically, it's going to be Santa Claus level to get a zero fourteen fourteen. <laughs> is what I'm getting at. I mean, it's as rare as any other specific combination. But so this uh, the infographic that they give not only gives the Pokemon, but it also gives their ideal uh, IVs for PvP. Okay, gotcha. So, so Swampert, the ideal IVs is 0, 14, 14. Gotcha. And now this is assuming, and it doesn't, does it say it's, I'm pretty sure it's Great League. Um, because the Silph Road, all of their, all of their uh, tournaments, I'm pretty sure have been, uh, all of their Silph League arena has been Great League. I'm pretty sure. Um, now, reminder to people listening. Charles and I don't really go and compete in, in the Silk Road, but I'm pretty sure that they do Great League. Um, so, yeah, so the 0 14, 14 Do you have any other guesses, or do you want me just to keep going with the... Uh... Just, hit, just hit a few of the highlights. All right, so the basically the starters, most, uh, most of the starters are on this list. So you've got Charizard, Swampert, Venusaur, Blastoise, Blaziken, Meganium... Uh, and Typhlosion. Those all make an appearance on the definitely useful. They have a whole slew of possibly useful someday. Uh, we're not going to go over that. Um, and then Umbreon. Umbreon with Last Resort is actually really good for PvP. Um, so if you can snag yourself an Umbreon, and almost all of these have zero or one for the attack IV. And then you want the other two IVs in general you want them relatively high um, there are a few ca uh, cases where it's a little bit different than that but in general um, and then the other four on the list are Gallade and Gardevoir so both of those come from Ralts um, and then Metagross of course and Tyranitar now these are PvP specific uh, last week we talked about um, just in general, which Pokemon would be good for raiding uh, a little bit. And so, you know, Metagross and Tyranitar, those are two that I definitely want to get in on. Um, but yeah, so there is that. Um, and they, this, uh, this source will be in our, in our show notes, um, but they break down each Pokemon and talk a little bit about them specifically um, and things like that. So, uh, if you want to know more information on that, hop on over to uh, PokemonGoPodcast.com and take a look at this. This is episode 175. So. Dollar 75. That's right. Pledge it today. That's right. Special to this episode. And then you can hop into our Discord. <laughs> exactly. You know, that would be a thing. Like, yeah, I got on Black Friday day, dollar 75 a month. There you go. That, that'd be kind of fun, actually. Yeah, and we do have a second infographic specifically about PvP, and they mention um, Mamoswine and um, Salamence as well. Those are the main two that they mention that we did not mention at all. So, um, but yeah, good stuff. Good stuff all around. Um, so why don't you PvP? Why are you just on time? Yeah, I just don't have time. I mean, it's... It's do I PVP or do I actually spend some time with my kids and I spend yeah. time with my kids. So <laughs> I've no, got I get that. Yeah. I've got a bunch of different things happening all week, every week. So I just do what I can. Um, this next infographic, have you had a chance to um, fight any of the, well, I guess this isn't an infographic. This is a post. This next source um, is about the Team Rocket leaders. Have you fought any of them yet? No, I'm on the second part where you have to cure the world of Pokemon or something. Well, so you don't have to. You don't have to get to the part where it asks you to beat them to fight them. The way okay, I haven't. I haven't seen any. I'm assuming they would show up in uh, the the blue shaky. Okay, so Team Rocket. You what you oh, do okay. is you find those stops when you beat six of the team rocket grunts you, uh -huh. each each grunt will give you a piece 
of right. I'm working. Radar. I think I have four of those. Yeah. Yeah. So once you get the radar, you trigger the radar, and that lets you find the leaders. Okay. Yeah, I'm still working on the radar. Okay. So you have not fought any yet. They are. They're pretty tough if you don't use the optimal settings. Um, so this is from... Oh, I always set mine to 1080p in surround sound, baby. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> uh, this is from uh, Snail on Pogo. So Snail on Pokemon Go. And they've posted videos of them beating each of the leaders with a single Pokemon. Um, so if you are wondering you know what's great against it uh this is a great setup now he's beating them with a very with them having a specific lineup um you may not run into that lineup but if you do and even if you don't these are still good pokemon against them so the first he and he posted videos of all of this so the first one is swampert he uses against cliff um and it's specifically swampert with mud shot and hydro cannon um and muddy water so he's got uh each of these have two oh yeah each of these have two uh charge moves unlocked um now hydro cannon if you don't have one that's good a good swampert with hydro cannon you're gonna wait want to wait until community day on the 14th and 15th because okay. you can get that again um so he uses swampert it's a 15, 15, 12 Swampert. So this is, it's not like all of these are perfect IVs or anything like that, but they are pretty good IVs all around. And so, yeah, he used Swampert with 15, 15, 12 IVs, Mudshot, Hydro Cannon, and Muddy Water, and he's able to solo it. And um, again, this will be in our sources on our, on our post. And so if you wanted to actually watch the YouTube videos with the breakdown of, of how he accomplished it, you can do that as well. Um, against Sierra, um, now Sierra is the only one that I've battled so far, but against Sierra, he used a Polyrath, a 12, 13, 14 Polyrath with Mudshot, which Mudshot is legacy on Polyrath, so, and it's not a Community Day legacy, so this one's going to be a little bit harder for the general public to do. Um, but it's got Mudshot, and then it's got um, ice punch and power up punch and he's able to take it down and that's because um, her main lineups are fi are ice pokemon and so okay. having that fighting type um fight the fighting and um, water type yeah he can he can mess them up pretty good and then against arlo um snail on pogo used blaziken with fire spin blast burn and blaze kick blast burn is a legacy move so again wait until the 14th or 15th of december and you can grab them or if you've already got them great yeah. but uh this one is a 15 14 15 blaziken and almost all of these are max level the polyrath is the only one that's level 39 rather than being level 40 so you know these are powered up it's a pretty big uh stardust and candy investment if you don't already have this set up so, yeah, how did you do against Sierra? Uh, it took me a few tries because I kept trying to use tanky people. And then I realized I just need to punch her in the face. And I tossed two Machamps and a um, um, oh, Tyranitar. Because the, uh, the lineup she had against me was her Sneasel, a Lapras, and then an Alakazam. And so okay. Machamp, my Machamps were able to take out the first two, and my uh, uh, my Tyranitar wrecked the Alakazam. Nice. So, yeah, so that's what I used against her was Machamp, Machamp, and Tyranitar. Um, but it, it depends on her lineup. It did take me three tries to actually beat her, though. Um, but that's because early on, like I said, I was focusing on Tanky when I should have with Machamp, it, his charge move is great, but he does enough damage with his base attack that it worked just fine. Do do new players and casual players even have a shot? I mean, do you have to be? Do you need to be a certain uh, XP level 
before, like, you know, I'm 39, right? Because I've just played forever slowly. Uh, but do you need to be level suggested level 30 or higher? Is this like end game content? Um, for part of 40? It's going to be tough, but there, I, I need to find some sources and I'll get them for next week. Um, okay. But there are some sources of people using Great League Pokemon. So that's max 1500 CP to beat each lineup. Okay. Um, and so I'll, I'll get some sources for that for the next week that we can just include in our, our in our post for next week. But yeah, it although hard, it is possible re, as long as you're probably at least level, I'd say at least level 20, 28 or 29. Oh, that's good to know. Thunder Muffin came in and said that the leaders actually adjust according to their, according to your level. All right. Okay. That's good to know. I, I I did not realize that. Um. So yeah. So I, I apparently if you're lower level, they will be easier to beat as well. So there you go. Just I guess find the proper Pokemon and take them down. Yeah. And if I and I do get my screen names mixed up, so I apologize if that's the case. But if I remember right, Thunder Muffin is uh, Todd, who we ran into at yep. Pokemon Go Fest two years in a row. That is right. Cool. So yeah, I didn't I didn't run into him when I was by myself that I know of. Um, so that middle because he only I'm likes there. me, Joe. He's only there for me, All Joe. Right. I get my one <laughs> fan, man. You you and Evans, y'all take everybody. I get my one. <laughs> I take my. I love my Thunder Muffin. <laughs> so so yeah, it it does it take a little bit more, uh, I guess, studying per se to to take on these Team Rocket guys but uh yeah you, you can't just go in blind against these guys they're they're a little yeah. bit, little bit harder than that that's cool though that's a that's a whole fourth fourth or fifth level to the gameplay you know a different style of battle to go after so i like and they they use they use uh, shields as well to my rest yes they always use their shield on the first two attempts so if the first two times you use a charge attack, they will try to use. They will use their shield against you. So there we go. Cool. So what's next? What else you got? <laughs> so Mad Hatter is Todd. Thunder Muffin is the older and in uh, in parentheses better looking brother. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, who couldn't be bothered to come out and see us? All right, I, I would can't my or can't my I love my Thunder Muffin statement now. So, no, I'm kidding. I, I like all you guys, uh, but we got him with. Uh, I remember we we sky, uh, skyped him and talked to him for a minute while we we're there. So that was cool. There you go. Um, so the next thing is, uh, if you haven't fought against Giovanni yet, his Pokemon has already changed. Um, okay. and so Niantic has confirmed that, uh, uh, each month, the first Pokemon that Giovanni uses will change regardless of whether you finished the, or regardless of when you got his special research, if you, it depends on when you finish it, de uh, huh. determines what you get. Interesting. Um, so if you beat him, you get his first Pokemon. Yeah. Well, assuming you beat him. Yeah. So yeah, uh, but yeah. So the the first one was Articuno. I'm assuming um, it's Zapdos now. Uh, at least it's not Happy Eevee. <laughs> you know, Eevee is gonna be part of the uh, community day coming up. That's okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> we'll make it through. <laughs> Why? It it'll be, it'll be it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Life will go on. Life life finds a way. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> and they haven't put more dinosaurs in the game. So there you go, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. Uh, <laughs> the the Ronaldo wants a last resort hippie Eevee. So no. Uh. Thunder Muffin, uh, from what I've heard, it's already gone. The, the last day was a couple days ago, uh, which seemed kind of weird that it wasn't until the end of the day for Articuno, or the end of the month for Articuno. But uh, you might. I'm not close enough to check. 
Um, so yeah, there was there was a, a PSA that someone had put out on the Silk Road um, that it was highly upvoted. So I assume it's right, but that uh, yeah, the Articuno was gone on the twenty seventh, twenty sixth. Huh. So, but yeah, it it seems weird that it wouldn't be the end of the month. Um, but yeah. Was it the twenty eighth by chance? AKA yesterday. Yeah. Maybe. Only because in basic coding, right, you can go to the simplest month, and the simplest month is February, twenty eight mm, days. Roll over. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, who knows? We nobody ever really knows what goes on in the minds of Niantic programmers and producers. So who knows? Well, that is all we have for official sources. Uh, I was hoping people would join us. Apparently, this is an awkward time for people to join. So Awkward. awkward. Well, you know what, though? You know what? There'll be time for editing if they want to do the speak pipe, which is PokemonGoPodcast.com, and then on the right-hand side. And actually, we probably should put in a slash to make it easier for people. But on the right-hand side, there's the tab that says speak pipe. And you click that with any device that can touch the internet and have a microphone. You have up to 90 seconds to leave a message. And we can edit it in. Uh, cause Mike will probably get to this uh, sometime Friday night. Uh, so if you catch the, you know, if they catch the rebroadcast. Uh, and then you know what? Even if you don't do it for today, call so it in. We'll play it next Friday. week. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah, he gets, he'll get to it tonight or tomorrow to add it. So if they, if they catch the rebroadcast, right they they catch a replay or whatever they can still go in and we can edit in for the, the podcast and even again even if you don't get in for this episode always call in your thoughts and, and everything else you want to share and uh, we'd love to have that we'll put it on we'll play on the show do you know what's going on next week joe what's going on next week surprise i'll be here <laughs> <laughs> but another surprise brian Emmett will return as well woot woot yeah, we got uh, uh, we we're able to schedule Brian in for the first uh, the first uh, Thursday in December, so he will be on next week. And man, it's December already. You believe that? Yeah, that feels weird. I guess I've got to actually start watching Christmas shows with my wife now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to. I'm sure you can work overtime or something to get yeah. away from it. Um. But, uh, but yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it's not that it's red. Okay. I don't mind Christmas shows. It's just I, I want to give Thanksgiving its due. You know. Are we getting Deli Bird back? Probably. Uh, and probably getting the purple Deli Bird too. All right, well, that's cool. I don't have that one yet. So, um, but currently going on right now is the um, what is that? The the family theme because we've got we've had a bunch of uh different they announced a bunch of different uh events um happening right now what was it for for that switched over yeah celebrate family and friendship so that started the 27th at 1 p.m pacific time and it's going to end on december 2nd and so right now you get uh you can find nidoran female knitter and male and their evolutions in the wild shiny um, and in research tasks um, you have half stardust cost for trades and you can make two special trades a day and then oh yeah when you when you raid with friends the attack boost that you get is even higher um, so i saw some people on reddit posting about um Pokemon that you could duo like with this extra boost that you could duo um, Terrakion with. So, nice. you know, what I'd love to do, Joe, because we're, we're filling a little bit of time and we, I'd like to catch up with you for, for the last couple weeks. Uh, I'd love to do a podcast tour where we go around a bunch of different cities, you know, each week and do our live show, of course. But the bigger thing would be to have a raid day, like the Wednesday, because we record on Thursdays. So maybe you know, Wednesday 
into the evening or something, or, or we'd have to figure it out. But the idea would be to go to lo- to central locations that people could come and hang out with us and play with us, and we'd do the raid day with them, go around having fun and, and take advantage of these kind of events, and then do a live show that people people could sit in the audience and be a part of, and then move on to the next town. That'd be that'd be I think that'd be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. Would be I don't know how to make that happen unless you. <laughs> We're making a huge goal on Patreon, but like, that takes a lot of money, people. So, um, but yeah, I would love to go around because you know we'd bring in special guests. Like Ibbett would probably hit some of the towns with this, uh, depending on his schedule. You know, Barry would hit some of the towns with this, depending on his schedule. Um, you know, and, and then other podcasters and stuff. As we hit their areas, we could team up with them and and go out and do a dual raid and and live shows and stuff. And when I mean live show, I mean like a theater small gather, whatever. I remember uh, whatever the audience would need, you know, uh, Dragon Con size room, you know, place where we could do the show in front of people and it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, how's your studio coming along? Um, well, I've got the lighting behind me that you can't see because you're not. Yeah. Looking. You have the camera pointed yeah. at me. Yeah. Um, so I've got some lighting behind me. I need, I still need to get one of those ring lights, but I have adjusted the lighting to be a little bit better there. Um, I've got three monitors. I'm hoping to get another monitor soon, but with the, <laughs> so I'll have four monitors hooked up to yeah. my computer and I've got, um, sound treatments up i think i might get some uh, of those bass traps though and put those up yeah. as well and uh all in all yeah that's really great um thunder muffin says that we would have a blast in the durham raleigh area uh, oh yeah a little bit uh behind baseball i've applied to several jobs in the durham raleigh area so there is a chance i might be moving there yeah. And then I got we, to... we know a number of people in that area now. Yeah. Yeah. Smashy and uh and Steven. Steven. Yep. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Great yep. show. Horseshoes and hand grenades is a good show. Uh so yeah. So there is and actually Steven's the one that that is scouting me for the jobs. So yes, there is a there is a possibility I might be moving to Raleigh, though there's also a possibility that I'll work from home while working for the company that's based out of Raleigh. So yeah, there's that. But if I do work from home, I'll probably still have to drive to Raleigh for meetings every now and again. So I can meet up with people there and, and play and whatnot. So anyway, that'd be fun. A little behind baseball there. And, and I can tell a little behind baseball, Tony P Henderson and I are going to be doing a lot more cons this year depending on how we get picked up. You know, we may be in your neck of the woods at a Comic-Con and can hang out and meet up and play and stuff. Oh, really? Where are you guys aiming for? Just Are you just uh, casting we got, wide? We got, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, I mean, not super wide, but we're definitely hitting the bigger ones that, yeah, we could, we could fill rooms, so we need we need it to be enough that we're going to grab attention on what we're doing. And, and we got a little side hustle going on with that as well. Uh, so, yeah, who knows? But as soon as I get dates, we'll be announcing them, and you know that'll be the mini, the mini world tour that we'll do this year, is uh, meetings and cons. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, all right. Well, I got. I probably should be getting ready to get on the road, and we're out of materials here. But it, it's good to be back, man. I felt it. I felt it being gone for two weeks. I was like, man, this sucks. I'm supposed to be talking about something Pokemon related, and uh, it's good to be back. So. I'm still waiting for the day when I when one of us gets a shiny live on the air. But, you know what? I, I'm not happy with my close enough where I got one the day before. No, I did. I got the uh, the um, the bloody murder eye. Aaron was it? Bloody, yeah. Aaron, the the steel guy. Yeah, could it be blue eyed? And I got the murder eyes. Yeah. Did you catch that live on air? I did because I think there Zar or somebody was watching and or they heard the podcast of me getting live. I'm like, <laughs> is he supposed to have red eyes? I don't remember. And he's like, no. But yeah, those are always fun to get those but on. Do you there. know what time it really is though? It's not time to leave. Oh, you. I forgot to check my watch. What time is it, Joe? It is time for random trivia. And uh, this week I wanted to talk about Golette and its evolved form Go Lurk. Uh, 
they are both automation Pokemon. Um, they are ground ghost type. Uh, and they are out in Pokemon Go, though they do seem to be fairly rare. I've seen one on my radar. Ironically, it was at my work, but it was after hours and I was not at work. I just happened to be semi near work. And so I was like, ah, jerks. Um, ah. But uh, Go Let, its uh, Pokedex entry says that the energy that burns inside it enables it to move, but no one has been able to. To identify this energy um so just looking at them you can uh pretty much assume they're based off of golems um which come from hebrew mythology uh go lurks pokedex entry talks about how it flies across the sky at mock speed um that's oh i forgot about that so um I've said before that I'm I'm relatively unfamiliar with Generation Five, um, but one of the movies um, with um, oh I can't remember which movie it was now. It was one of the black and white movies, um, but he actually can turn his feet into rockets that f- and shoot across the sky. So he can move at mock speeds, and um, it says removing the seal on his chest makes. Uh, makes its internal energy go out of control. Um, so yeah, these are I. I don't know why I've always kind of liked golems. Um, they're shiny forms. Um, both of them go from being um, the kind of sky blue and the um, the darker blue to having yeah. um, kind of a muted blue and a purple. On okay. It. Um, go let. I mean, both of them, Golat and Golurk, the goal comes from Golem. The let comes from small. So the suffix meaning small. Um, but yeah, so he's pretty cool there. And then Golurk uh, comes from Golem and Lurk. And the Lurk is referring to its ghost typing. So yeah, I really want to get, wow. get my hands on one of these. They're They're fun little guys. Um, as far as stats go, there's nothing crazy impressive about him, but um, he just, I don't know, he looks he looks cool. He's an adorable little golem. Cool. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> uh, some of these, you know, you just want them because they look cool. Exactly. But yeah, that'd be nice a year from now when they put them in a box and I can get one or community day it or something. That'd be cool. Yep. Yep. And um, apparently the crack and strap on go lurk um could be a reference to a hebrew story called the golem of prague apparently the golem in that story is also believed to be able to summon the spirits of the dead which is probably why go lurk and golette have ghost typing as well huh so yep yep pokemon gets crazier and crazier every day of it <laughs> Uh, the, the Ronaldo says that, um, Golette reminds him of full metal alchemist. And I could definitely see that with, the okay. El- with the Elric brothers. Yep. I am familiar. Alphonse. Yeah. If you, if you like anime at all and have not watched full metal alchemist, you should really get on that. Um, and, it, it'll get you. Oh, yeah. There's some dark moments that'll make it like, no! uh, yeah, yeah it, is, it is definitely not, yeah. not for kids. Yeah. Um, and if you only have time for one, because there's actually two separate versions, if you've only got time for one, watch Brotherhood. Um, because uh, what happened is the original anime that came out caught up to the source material and then kind of went off on their own. And mm-hmm. then years later, they remade it, and the new one follows the the um, source material. So Gotcha. Both are good, though. Both are good. So, yep, yep. All right. Apparently, nobody was listening to me when I said we have to leave by three thirty at the latest, because uh, my daughter just came out like, "Hey, they're waiting on you." Like, no, we are leaving. Get it done. <laughs> I gotta go wrangle some kids and some some grandparents who refuse to listen because we got plans tonight. Oh man! So, Joe, where can they find you on the web, man? You can find me at Joseph underscore Ard. Where can they find you? 
You can find me, Rock Gunna Podcasting, all across social media. Uh, GSTU.net is this show and many other awesome shows on Giant Size Team Up Network. We love being a part of this network and pushing it forward and working together. And uh, so find that there. And charlesmcfall.com has anything else that's not network related, but it's not much outside of that. But everywhere you want to be, like FISA. So, uh, 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 still, oh, you know what? Our show, show yeah. is facebook.com forward slash uh, Pokemon Go podcast. What's Reddit? Reddit.com slash r slash Pokemon Go podcast. You can send us an email show at Pokemon Go podcast.com. Uh, you already talked about the speak pipe, but again, that is Pokemon Go podcast.com. And on the right hand side, there is that green button for a speak pipe. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, Twitter at Pokemon Go pod. Uh, if you want to tune in live, um, this week is abnormal, but next week we will be back to our normally scheduled programming. It's twitch.tv slash Pokemon Go podcast at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, over at, I don't know if uh, we ever contacted Tony to put another a new shirt back up, so I don't think we have a shirt on our T Public store right now. We'll have to fix that. Yeah, we need to. We need to come up with an original concept that won't get yep. taken down yep well so, i mean if nothing you know else, what? It, we can just throw the Christmas. logo we can we'll th- we'll we'll put up we'll put up our original shirt yep. bring it back for the holidays and then that'll give us time to put something new up yep all right so we're gonna put that back up and if you want to link to that it's tiny.cc slash capital g capital s capital t capital u um and yeah so until next time Wait to hear Charles say, I'm back, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. So everyone have a wonderful day. Bye.